Hello everyone, this is Todd Efferman from the Southern Illinoisan. Uh, welcome to today's Sunday podcast. Uh, my guest today is senior guard Tyler Smith-Peters from Harrisburg. Uh, he was one of the best three-point shooters in uh, on the team two years ago. Last season he hurt, him, hurt his knee in the first game, uh, didn't play again. He's one of the best three-point shooters in school history. Uh, as a junior, he led the team in three-point shooting percentage at just over 40%. He made at least two threes in 15 different games, and the Salukis desperately needed him last season. Now they get him back. Uh, in this interview, he talks about playing for his local team, coming from a basketball family, and his love for John Stockton. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, Harrisburg and coming here, what's it? You know, what was it like? You know, now you're a couple years into it, but a local kid playing at SIU. I'm, I'm sure you wanted to play here, but it doesn't always work that way. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I thought it was somewhere I wanted to go when I when I was in high school, and my dream came true, and I'm still here, so that's a good thing. But I mean, really, I mean, um, just something that's I've had a dream of doing it, and finally doing it. Who else did you look at at the uh, time? There's Evansville, and there's a couple of NBC schools and a couple of OBC schools. So, what did you learn about yourself last season? when you had to sit out and watch? Um, really just newfound respect for the game. Just knowing that any time you could be, that could be your last game. So, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. So, and just being there for my teammates, just trying to cheer them on, no matter how I could, just helping them out anyway. So, I think it was the biggest thing. Um, I, I wasn't at the game. You hurt your knee. Can you tell me what happened? And, and was it a sprained knee, or was it something more severe than that? Um, really, I just tried to bluff at some at one of the guys driving through the lane and I slipped and my knee just got caught and popped and stuff and then I ended up being like a partially torn uh, MCL. No so, surgery though? No, no. Try to get back as quick as I could but then it just, every time I practice it just swell up every time and I just, not much I can do about it. Did it respond better when you rested it, you know, for yeah. a couple weeks and yeah. it hasn't been an issue? Uh, I mean it still swells up sometimes but I mean nothing to where I can't play, so I'm not really worried about it at this point, just can't do much about it, so. Right. Was there a moment in practice where you guys hit five threes in a row or something and you looked up and it's like, oh, I thought we'd be better, but I think we're really, I think we are really going to be better from the three-point line this year? No, I think uh, really our practice, like even our stats during practice have showed it. I mean, everybody's shooting the ball tremendously well, and I think that's a big part, and I think Teak does a really good job with that because, I mean, it's hard to defend him down low and KP. And so when they get double teamed, I mean, just the fact that we, that he has shooters that he knows that can shoot the ball well, it will help him out too. The uh, leadership-wise, you know, the, last year, have you taken a more vocal role there to try to be a little bit more of a boss? Yeah, I mean, I mean now we're getting into the more, more – uh, into practice stuff everybody kind of knows what to do and stuff but I mean at the beginning yeah it's just really just trying to show the younger guys and the new guys the ropes of how we do things and be on time and stuff like that I mean so it's been well. What did you learn about what did you learn from your dad growing up? You grew up in a basketball family clearly but what did you what did you learn from him? I mean or your brothers? I mean a lot of things really I mean that's what I learned how to play basketball from was my dad and my brothers so I mean, really everything that I've gotten from this game has come from them most of the uh, most of it. So now I'm familiar with Kyle. Did your other brothers play as well? Yeah. In college, or did they? Yeah. Play? The, uh, uh, two other ones that played at SIC and John A. Logan. That was before my. That was when my brother was assistant coach there. Was one of them. So, but they didn't. They didn't want to pursue basketball after that. So. Why do you think you wanted to pursue it? I mean, I think the biggest thing is just the education. I mean free education, I mean, so, I mean, it's hard to beat, and plus, I mean, I just, just, I have, I'm really passionate about the game, I like having fun, it just went along with it. You like winning, obviously, oh, what's, yeah, what's yeah. the, do you show the ring off to your brothers, I'm the only one that's got one of these? I mean, sometimes, I mean, I don't, when, when we first got, I, I did that a lot, and I mean, just kind of gives me some bragging rights, I mean, but now they know not to say anything about it, because I'll just bring that up every time, so. I'm kind of good with that. Uh, what, why John Stockton? 
I mean, I was always a jazz fan. Or my my dad was a big jazz fan. He was good friends with Jerry Sloan, who was from the same hometown as him. So, your dad's from McLeansburg? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I, I thought he was yeah, always he lived to, in Harrisburg. No, he he uh, went to high school and everything. Lived there all through his throughout his childhood and stuff. So, uh, you have any other? Yeah, I didn't answer some of that. Do you have any other hobby, hobbies besides fishing, watching basketball? Uh, I mean, I, I play video games every once in a while, you know. But other than that, once basketball season comes around, it's just not much, not much going on other than basketball for me. So, and I'm, I'm fine with that. I like it like that. Now, I'm doing a story on on Kavion and Teak playing together. What what do you notice when they're on the floor together and their chemistry? Does it look? I mean, does it look? weird or does it look like it, it it could work no i think it i think it could work i mean especially on the defense end i mean shoot if someone gets by somebody and you have to go up against t court and or kp at the same time i mean that's that's a tough and i mean plus just on the rebounding side of it i mean i think it worked out really well but i mean i think the biggest thing is they're they work really well together they're good friends outside of the court and i think that just goes hand in hand on the court in my experience, I just usually you only have one shot blocker, you know, one guy to clean up the mess. But now you got two. I mean, do they both go to the ball at the same time? I mean, how does that work? Um, I mean, just or you just haven't noticed, and, I, and I'm I'm stupid. No, no. I mean, it's just I mean, it's just different things. I mean, anything can happen in basketball. I mean, not everybody's perfect, but at the same time, I mean, I think it. I think it, it has a chance to be really good. So. That's about it.